Hi everyone, welcome back to the 442 podcast. And today, Liam. Oh, we've got a belter. We've got a lad who played for England, Manchester United, Sunderland, Blackburn, sneaked off to India. He's won two FA Cups, five Premier Leagues, two Champions Leagues. We've got Wes Brown. Two charity shields. I know, but we're going to come to them later on. Do you count them? Not really. No? No, no I would have thought so. Ah, well, it, no, if I would have mad count them, Wes, yeah, to be I'd honest. <laughs> yeah. Well, we've played golf, John. Yes, we have. Wes and Charlie have given us a good uh, rogering. <laughs> we got absolutely spanked. We did Deservedly that. so. Uh, both played very well. I, I think it was the tactics. We got ours wrong. I was a white variety today. What was that? Dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> you have a laugh, Wes? It was good. I enjoyed it. I'm glad we won. Because Charlie said he's, he's not won yet, so... No, he's not. He's had uh, well, he two well. games. He played well today. I give him that. He was a man of match, wasn't he? Yeah. We're going to give it him now. Yeah, listen, it, we're going to have to give, give him, him credit where credit's due. That, that second shot. I, I think you were a good mix, though, Wes, because you calmed him down. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's... Well, uh... oh, yeah, he's very calm, isn't he? You've yeah. always been calm. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Never yeah. nervous or anything like that? Really? I had to check him twice for a pulse. <laughs> Right, so let's go with Man United. There is a boy. When was it when Sir Alex took notice of you? Sir Alex? Oh, I wouldn't know. Um, but I was at Man United from, I got scouted about 13. Um, signed School of Excellence 14 with, with Nobby Styles. Um, and then, yeah, just worked my way up through the youth teams and then got into the squad somehow. Yeah, that's what I meant, Sir Alex, when he got you into the first team, when he thought, right, Wes looks good, he's going to get him with us. Yeah, he was he was top. I mean, it was it was good. It was very relaxed. Um, it was good for me knowing that the the class of ninety two have all sort of done the same thing, come through the youth team and got in. Um, and yeah, and like the, the first season was crazy. First season, um, we actually won the treble. So to be involved in that, every season would be like that. If I'm being honest, boys, and it's not. Well, I've got that down. I was going to say right, professional football. First team debut, life's easy, treble. Yeah, well, we played, um, Arsenal won the league in 97, 98, so the manager played, I come on second to last game against Leeds at Old Trafford, and then he played a few more young lads in the, the last game against um, Barnsley away. I think it was, we won 2-1. And then the next season, obviously, was um, was that crazy season where we, we, we sort of won everything. Um, and to be involved in that, honestly, it was frightening. Just a little kid. Really, learning my trade, so. And a Man United fan. Yeah. yeah. Which is ace on the cake, isn't it? It is, yeah. But, you know, when you're there for so long, and people always say, you're just used to it a little bit as well. Yeah. Because you've always gone to the cliff, but it was still the cliff at the time, and um, trained every day. I mean, I'd get the bus, and um, wait for one of the lads to pick me up in the cars and walking down. Um, but it was a great experience and great to remember and great to be involved in. Well, I'm going to get you on that because uh, you've got one of my questions, actually. You've done it for me. Training at the cliff. Yeah. Long sight, lad. So you had to get the bus. Yeah, two buses. Two. Right. So at this point, you've made your debut then, haven't you? Yeah. So Sir Alex pulls you in and says, I want you to stop getting public transport to training, basically. A bit sort of like that. Did you say... Well, I'm not going to contract for get a car yet. You're going to hook me up or anything I actually, like that? I actually had a fight on a bus. Ah, that's so that's why. That, that's how we oh, found it's out. coming out now, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, that's how we yeah. found out. Um, but he said to me, what are you doing getting the bus? He, he didn't even know, I don't think. No. Um, and I said, I've always got the bus. And that, yeah, it's from that day, it sort of changed a little bit. Did he give you a little bump so you can get a car then? Yeah, it took a while, but yeah, he did. I didn't get a car. Did you not? No, 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 I just had to move. Oh, so you moved houses? Yeah. He, he kept telling me to get a taxi and I told him I couldn't afford it. So... Mm. That's great answers, answer. great response. What yeah. can he do here now if you're saying that? What about the fight? What, how did that come about? Was it oh, I just sit there. Just sit yeah, City sit. fan? Yeah. But I suppose you leave yourself wide open because you're on public yeah, you transport. you do. You do a little bit, so I understand that. Um, at the time, it was no different to me because that's what I, you yeah. know, I get the bus. So, you know, if that's what you're used to, that's what you're used to. But I sort of get it now. As you, When you get older, you're thinking, what the hell was it? Would you be kissing out then? Don't be silly. Oh, track suit and that? Don't be silly. No. 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 no you wear your own stuff. Get changed at, at, at the training ground. Well, what would have been getting round? Because you've made your debut, you've become a bit of a face. Yeah, yeah, people, you know, so people, people know, sort they? of know yeah. who I was. Yeah. Um, 
But ultimately, to me, the, the bus was the bus. It was normal. Don't mean it. No, no not at all. No. no it's Good cha- attitude. It's changed though. now. Good attitude. You know what I mean? Because Yeah, but it was normal to yeah, get the bus. Like I mean. Most Good people attitude. get the bus. Yeah. I mean, the lads that... I don't know, we had a few lads from Ireland, a few from Scotland. Um, they'd have been in digs. But obviously, I wasn't in digs. Because right. I, I, I lived in Manchester, so... Um, and I'd been at Lily Show for two years, so the manager let me stay at home. Because I didn't want, I didn't want to stay in digs again. <laughs> Homesick. How did you feel at Lily Show? Because that, that's not about now. Because they're at Saint George. Yeah, Lily Show. What was Lily Show like? It was brilliant. It, it gets you focused. To be fair, you train every day. Yeah. Like you do what you ITS. Uh, we had some good players there, and really enjoyed it. It got you focused on what you needed to do when you got to the club, and I think that's what what that's what um, I took out of it anyway. But we had Michael Owen was there, um, John Harley, Kenny Lunt, um, Stephen Haslam, Chef Wednesday. You know, some some good players good come players, out yeah. of that. So Michael, Michael Ball, Owen was there as a kid Ball. then? Yeah, we're in the same year, we're the same year. We're in the same team, yeah. So um, we had a very good team. You did? Very good team. What were your position? I was centre-back um, when I was at Lily Show. That was always your favourite position? Yeah, I used to be play right wing, I'm sure... I, Sure, we all changed positions along the way. Um, but yeah, I used to play right wing. I, I tried to be a, a Ryan Giggs on the right, to be fair. But then one day, at, um, it was still Sunday League for the, for the local team, Fletcher Moss. The, the centre-back was ill and I put my hand up to play there. And then when he come back, I just remember him saying, no way, you're at the back. Because I was trying to put my number seven on to go back to right wing. And he's saying, you're at the back. But I got used to it. I loved it. Enjoy. I loved it, yeah, because I was quick. I was quick then. You were still uh, quick when you went to centre-back. Yeah, yeah, quick. It was very quick and um, nice few little turns. And then I just, and I like tackling. I worked to like, I found out I like tackling as well. So it was, um, you know, it was tough, but my level pretty much, you know, got moved up straight away pretty quickly. So it was good. Because you'd stand out. I mean, physically you'd put together. I was skinny. Were you? I I was tall and skinny, I would say. Right. I probably stopped going probably about 18, but... Um, tall and skinny, very, very quick. Um, but yeah, loved it. Loved playing centre back. What kind of strikers did you use like coming up against? What were your battles with your like? You, you, know, you all know. You, you have to play different against everyone, I think. You can play against, uh, there's no point fighting a big Duncan Edwards. And, you know what I mean? There's, there's actually no point in fighting uh, John Artson. You know, you've got to play these guys different. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, I mean, Craig Bellamy, you'd have to play different. He would always give, me, good, he always give me problems. He's just, he's just fast, rapid. He's, he's quick. He's quick, yeah. and once he's past you, you're not... He likes a... chirping it as well, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh, but he's funny. No, he's one of the funniest. <laughs> Is it good fun? Yeah, he's funny. He would always talk about his own team. Oh, oh, oh he's so crappy. He's cra- Go on, what do you mean? Like, yeah, they say, what, cra- oh, how am I playing with him? Where? Like, <laughs> but I would never speak. So, but I used to think it was funny, but I never chose my... I never changed my facials or anything. No. So I was just concentrating, but I was I was laughing. But uh, not letting him know? No, I wouldn't let him know. We've seen that on the golf course, haven't we? Oh, yeah, yeah you're very yeah, yeah. Check yeah. He poker, is funny. So poker face. Yeah, so if he's yeah. not getting the ball yeah. right, he's calling his own teammates. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> brilliant. And to be fair, as you all know, there was a there was a bit more talking then, wasn't there? Yeah. A little bit more trying people trying to intimidate, but he was funny. I thought he was funny. Too many cameras now, isn't there? Yeah, probably, yeah. So second season, 16th appearances, trouble winning se- season. Mm. Now, the trouble, it's... Anyone what listening, it's a treble's just winning three trophies, isn't it? Yeah. But you did the best, didn't you? FA Cup, League, Champions League. Yeah, well, they're going to do it. They're the best three. They're the biggest three. Yeah, that's what they say. Well, it's not been done, has it? So it's um, people have done it in other leagues, um, but I don't think anyone's done it in the English league. So, you know, when you, I know you would have heard the lads talk about that last sort of month. It was a bit crazy because now you've got to think about this is on. Like, you yeah. can actually get there and do it. The, the squads pr- probably weren't as big. You know, you couldn't use as many subs as well. But there were some great players, great leaders in that team. Do you remember the Barcelona final? Yeah, it's... I remember all, all of it. Um, don't remember the night time, but I remember the actual game, which was crazy. Which you do? Be... Yeah, 100%. I mean, we, we were getting battered for 90 minutes. It was, actually. Yeah, was we, the... didn't, we didn't play the best. We didn't play the best at all. I mean, they scored, they hit the crossbar, they hit the post. Um they had a, like a maverick, didn't they? Was it, was it called Mario Basler or something like that? Basler, yeah, yeah. It was like a maverick. He scored a pr- decent free kick, Free didn't kick, it? yeah. Um, Schmeitz just didn't see it. Pretty much just went past him as well. So it, was, it, it didn't start well. 
Um, but the spirit of the lads just to you know keep on going, it was it was crazy really. So that's what I mean about the best feeling. You know, you, you're probably never going to match that again. I mean, you were down and out to to be fair, and then yeah, to come back. Mean. But that's your dressing room, isn't it? Certainly, certainly. And it starts with the manager, but the players had it in them as well. Yeah. Um. Obviously, you got Keno there. Um. Was Keno suspended? The Keno and Scorsi mm-hmm. was both suspended. Yeah. But the spirit of the team was there, and never give up. And I, mean, I, t- I tell you what, that was some some do afterwards. Even more so when you think about arguably your two best players on on the sideline, yeah, not being able to play. So. And, and that's probably why we didn't play. We had to move people out of position. Yeah. For instance, Giggsy went on the right wing, um, Blomqvist played. Um, so they had to bets come in the middle with Butter. So you had to, you know, you, you're tampering with the team a little bit in probably the most important game of your life. So. It's it did change a bit, but we stuck in there. You know, what a way to finish. A little bit, a lot of crazy. What a way to win it. I mean, right at the death as well. And once the first one goes in, I'm telling you now, lads, we were never getting beat. That no, I agree. I'm going to say something. It's bad. This I'm a Bolton fan, mate, but I've been cheered when you scored the second goal. Did you cheer? Yeah. Honestly, I remember at home in bed. You want English teams do well because obviously before that has been bands, has been all sorts. This Mm. no, it was good for English football. Yeah, it was good. It was good, and then um, you know, obviously for me. I'm thinking it's going to happen every year. Yeah, does that make sense? Um, obviously, yeah. We 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 won we won we won many things after that. We won the Champions League again. It's not the same feeling, if I'm being honest. I'm still disappointed we got beat in the um, the cup um, in that same season in in our way because we had a really good squad that season as well. Maybe to to try and um, you know do the same thing, but it wasn't meant to be. But once you've done it once, ways it is really hard to go and. Do the same again, isn't it? You know, yeah. I mean, you, you carry an even bigger target on yourselves, don't you? Yeah, probably. And you have to remember, the, some of the lads were getting a bit older then yeah. as well. So you, the, the manager's always changing the team, bringing in different players. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, and the closest of, we've, we've got to that again is probably 07 08 when we were in the Champions League again that year. The, the same spirit. I, I could tell it was the same spirit um, and, a, and a great, great squad we had, great players. Got a Yap Stam here signing. Yeah. What was he like? Was he's he as hard as he looked? Yeah, or was he less. chilled like you? No, he's hard to stand. He's very, he's, he's chilled. He's chilled, but get him on the pitch. Um, one on one's anything. He was unbelievable. Um, he was quick for his size, big, strong, aggressive. Everything you wanted, really. Uh, he, he, you'd, be, you'd be hard to find anyone better. Well, I've got a cracker here, but I can pronounce it right. Did he have to do initiation when he signed? I, and there's no chance he did. If, if he, I can't remember who he did that. So if he said, no, I'm not doing it, it would have been no problem. Do you know what the funniest thing is? You all know this. You can say no, but no one ever does. You can actually, don't. you don't have to do you it. You don't have to, no, but... But everyone does it because that's the spirit. Yeah. You know, and I know you're not allowed to do them anymore. Are you not? Not in a... You, it's, my, my, it's mostly singing, so you have to get right. up and sing. But some of them... You, Who's the best singer then, over the years? Well, Wayne would think he would be. <laughs> I've got a feeling he's not, is he? He's not bad and he's, he's all right, but Wayne would probably have a go. Who probably is the best? I'm definitely not, boys, not me. Um, I don't know, it depends what you sing. Is it, is it, if you, Make you, it easier, who's the worst? Who's the worst? Who's well, the shockers who have just gone, hell for legger, and think, stuff it, I'll have a go? Beckham fancy himself as a singer? See, I didn't see, they're older than me. Right. So they would have done their all theirs before I got there. Right. So I wouldn't have seen them do it. It wasn't Maisie anyway. Maisie, Maisie would have been shocking. He was a good golfer though, wasn't he? Very good golfer. Yeah, we've got him on soon. I have we got him on? Yeah. yeah. Oh. What about Roy? Bit of a singer? I've never seen Roy sing. If he said no, it was no as well. <laughs> I've, never seen, I've never seen Roy sing, to no. be fair. No, no, no. What was your first derby like, City? My first one? I think I think my first one was actually Main Road. Um, Beck scored a free kick. I was up against... I'm going to say Paul Dickoff. He was horrible to Matt, to be fair. He's so, another great ball. Yeah, he's yeah. horrible. And, boss, and it was funny, we had a proper little mm. snap at each other. And, and Paul's, I know Paul well. He's top man you know, now. Um, but at the time, for me, it's like, this is one of the biggest games and for me ever. I mean, it was at Main Road, which wasn't far from where I grew up. Um, and you just wanted to play well. So that, that was a... That was a good one, that, for me. If anything, a little bit nervous for that one because you just want to play well. What's the biggest derby from a Manchester lad? Liverpool or City? I think I think it was more Liverpool, and I'll tell you why, because City were in the, in the league for a while as well. 
So That's true, it missed well, it. Man. No, they weren't. So you know, we missed a good few seasons. So Liverpool came the you know the main rivals. To be fair, um, and it wouldn't matter where he was in the league. It was always a tough game. Um, but I'm not saying, you know, I would always look out for the Liverpool game first, probably because of that. Yeah. Um, and the games at the time, what we played in, were a lot tighter. Whereas City, you know, um, even though it was the derby, and it's better now, a lot better now, because obviously the, the teams are better. Um, but yeah, it, it'd probably be Liverpool for me. It, maybe I got brought up a little bit as well. I mean, I've got loads of City mates, got loads, I've got a few, a few scouts mates. Um, but the way you grow up is, you know, you've got to be, you've got to be Liverpool. Simple you as that. To got to be. I would imagine it's same. Um, you got at Liverpool, beat, isn't it? Got to beat got United. To beat Liverpool, yeah. It's ingrained in you, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. It's, you know quite quickly that's the case. <laughs> Liverpool's the game. Yeah. No disrespect to Man City. No, it's not. It's not. I mean, no. City's still a match. It's, it's a big. Well, it's a bigger game now, but at the time it was definitely Liverpool. Right, two thousand and one. Yeah. Full fitness. Thirty six games that year. Yeah. Getting back into it. Yeah. Starting to feel strong again. Yeah, it was. I mean, that was the season I come back from my injury. I was out for a year, to be fair. Nowadays, it probably takes six months or something. Mm. Is that right? Why would that... Do you know what? I've never been injured before as well. So you have to learn yourself. You're still a kid, do you know what I mean? Yeah. You have to learn to maybe look after yourself a little bit better as well. Um, and at the time, that that, that injury, you, you crush it. Um, you, you just took a bit more time of it just to make sure everything was right, was right and... You know, you weren't coming back too early. Was it like it mentally having a, a year off? Yeah, it was. That was hard. Because back then you probably won't talk about anything like that, would you? It's just no, oh, he's no. injured. We'll see him when he's. Yeah, I mean, you still see everyone, but you're not running out of him. You know, when you get injured, it's not nice. And I always remember to the gaff. I went really big as well, like doing all these weights. I know it's all different now. Um, and I, I remember when I started to run, I'd go into the gaff and say, "Gaffer, I'm not trying to get out of training, but I can't keep doing these weights." I can't move and he just goes, just stop doing it. So I was like, okay. What simple is that? Just <laughs> that stop doing it. it? No, but it's true though because you need to feel right, don't you? Do you think you you, well, you felt like you were muscle bound? Yeah, I was getting too like much. too big. Too, too, shoulders too yeah. big. I didn't feel like myself. Like running felt slower, couldn't turn as good. Um, Weren't you like, fighting weight, were it? Yeah, but it was good. I mean, if you go and see the gaffer, you always think you're going to get towed off. And I remember going to see him saying, uh, gaffer, I know I'm doing training, but can I go on holiday? He went, yeah. Go on holiday for two weeks, and the thing is that breaks it up so well because yeah. you can go away for two weeks. You're still doing little, little bits of training. You come back and you're just ready to go again. You know, you're putting everything back into it rather than feeling a bit down every day. Um, and like you just, you know, you're watching them all go out, and you're Could just be going straight destroying, to the aren't it? Yeah, you, you, listen. There's loads of lads. People go through it, and they still will. All footballers, but it's just how you handle it and. Um, for me, just going away, getting away a, f a few times, is, is it helps a lot. That's great man management by Sir Alex, out, isn't it? If someone stuck with a trip, I think, yeah, well, I think most managers would probably do that though as well. Just give you two week off, just for change of away. scenery, change yeah, of yeah, everything. Yeah, let's get a bit of sun. Nothing wrong with getting a bit of um, vitamin D, you know. Did you go on your own, or did you take a physio trainer with you? So back then, I just went on my own. Right. I think nowadays you be somebody you, with you, you go somewhere, which is fine as well. Yeah. But because you just do little bits in the morning or uh, maybe a bit in the evening, and then relax the rest of the time. But I mean, I couldn't do anything. I, I couldn't run. I'd just be, you know, just chilling out, and trying to get a bit of topping up the tan. Can't beat it. So you're playing quite regular. Sir Alex comes out of a court. Mm -hmm. Wes is the most gifted and naturalist, natural, talented defender in the country. Yeah. Must have felt well that was a yeah, but pe pe people get that wrong and people get that wrong and think that I was the best player in that position. I think what he means in that, and this is this is my take on it. Um like I've seen so many good partnerships over the years, Rio and Vida, like Brucey and Pally, for instance. But with me, he just asked me to do something and I would do it. He wouldn't necessarily tell me what to do. Go and mark him today, please, son. And then if that's not simple as that was. Yeah, but that's what I think he means by that. He's not he knows I'll just be able to deal with it. That's what he means. Not necessarily that. I think you're cutting yourself a wee bit short. I though. understand what you're yeah. saying. Do you know what but, I mean? But, but I Yeah. You know, that that's how he went. You know, when he asked me to mark someone, I would just go and do it. You would take the letter of the law, don't give him a kick today, son, and yeah. you'd go and uh, you'd mark him out yeah, of the yeah, game, yeah. which is I mean, for a manager, that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, when nice you can rely have. on somebody like that. Yeah, it's, it's brilliant. Nice to have, so. But you just touched on something there, you know, when you said that, I mean, trying to break into that partnership, like, 
Vidic and Ferdinand. Mm. You know what I mean? That, I mean, that, that alone is tough because you know how well they complement yeah, each other. Yeah, I mean, I'm a, play. because I'm a local lad, most local lads are, you, you play for the local team are like this anyway, you know. You have to remember, I was there from 98 in the squad. And the team, like I said, it changes new people coming in all the time. Yeah. Um, but the best partnership was Rio and Vida, by, by far, it just worked. And that would mean I'm in sometimes, sometimes I'm right back, sometimes I'm not. Do you know what I mean? It, it, it all worked because everyone, you know, we all wanted to win. There was no, there was no arguing, no fighting. Whoever was playing played and, and did the, what, what, you know, played to the best of their ability. So basically, whatever you were, you would, yeah, yeah, I yeah. Know the type of guy you are, you'd play whatever. Well, you he, he played me centre back, all right, but yeah. once midfield. Did you consciously <laughs> think then, I've got more chance of playing it right back? Well, it, not necessarily. I mean, Gaz, Gaz is a legend, mate. He, he, he's been a right back for the last, what, 12 years, yeah. 13 years. But ultimately, he's getting a bit older as well. And I'm a, I'm a few years younger, so that sort of changed over um, in a smooth way. Um, started to play right back a lot more. Gas would still play, but, but not as much. You're getting injured a little bit more. Um, so it was just either or, really, for me. What did you prefer, right back or centre back? So naturally, I would 100% centre back. 100%, but right back was so much fun. And I probably had my best season at right back. I'm going to come to that now. Yeah. 2007 8 season. Yeah, that was probably my best season. You played 52 games. Yeah. Well, bear like in right mind, back. I'd done my first cruise ship. Um, in '99, I did my second one in 2003, I think. So I did the other leg, so that kept me out for another eight months. So that was a nightmare. But yeah, I just managed to did all the work, focused, and and just get back in. Got that, discipline for yourself, though, aren't you? Because that's hard. That isn't it? that was hard. It is hard um, being injured for so long. I just think it's just the time that you have to wait. Yeah. You know, you can you can go off the rail a little bit, but the second one was a lot easier because I knew exactly what I needed to do. But that season, or right, right, it was that was fun times. That's when we, that was a proper team again. That one enjoyed it, didn't you? Yeah, it was good. So you had Ronaldo in the team. Ronaldo, really. forty-two goals he scored that yeah. season. Yeah, he's frightening. I mean, he would. When I look back at games, and we didn't play brilliant every game, but he's the sort of guy that'll get you out of the, he get you out of the shit. Do you know what I mean? Just give Just he can do it on his own. Yeah, and we and we had a few players like Wayne that could do team. it as well, couldn't he? Yeah, Wayne could do it. You know. Tevez will get us out a few oh, yeah. times. He, he was an animal, then. And you it? can't forget the your scores is in your gigs, is you know what I mean. So it was a. If you looked at the squad and the bench, you'd be like, they should be playing every week. To be fair, with it being so competitive, what was training like? It's competitive. Yeah. It was, and I think, um, you know, I've been to different clubs and maybe training is not as as tough, but United it was every day, and what was good about that, if I'm being honest, is. You actually played um, the way you train. Yeah. And then what you realise is some of the players that you play against are not as good as the lads that you're training with. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So you, you can see you're dominating the game pretty well just by that attitude of just, you know, playing the same as you train. Who drove that then? Was that like That's definitely Roy the Keane? manager. Was the manager? And, and Roy Keane, 100%. And Roy. Yeah, yeah. Roy Keane would be... So in training, he'd want high intensity. Every, every day. By far. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily take somebody out if the ball was there to be won, but Keno would. What? Would he lift them? Yeah, in training, yeah. yeah. No yeah, problem yeah. whatsoever? No, no problem. Again, it comes back to train the way you're going to play. Yeah. What yeah. about so, new arrivals? Would he lift them just for let them know yeah, where anyone. they are? Yeah, anyone. I mean, most people would. Um, Vidic was the same. But ultimately, that's how they would play on the... You're not trying to, you're not trying to injure them, no. but you, 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 like know, you tackle properly, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose you could get injured pussyfooting about half challenge. You can. You? That's the true. That's very true. One, you just dip your toe in, the other one. Yeah, yeah, up. yeah, yeah. You know? But training was was quality. To, you know, when when I think about the sort of standard that we were training at, it was it was class. It was very good. So Champions League that year, we'll, we'll go straight to the semis. Barcelona. Yeah. Group stages, both played ten games, won eight, drew two, and both scored nineteen goals. Mm. So a goal feast were on against you and Barcelona, you would have thought. And some proper players, Omri, Tori, Eto, yep. Deco, Iniesta, Javi. Do you remember much of it? The yeah. semi-final? Yeah. Well, the away game was tough. I mean, we got a penalty, Ronaldo missed it. Um, but every time he got the ball, they were just you couldn't hear anything. They were just whistling. And you couldn't what, just hear... just pinging, it. like? 
yeah, that's it. When we had the ball, you could not hear a thing. So you constantly, it was a, probably the most I've had to concentrate on any single game because they were so good as well. Um, but obviously we managed to keep it at nil nil. Um, and then when we get to Old Trafford, you, you have a bit of a buzz about yourself knowing that we're at home now and we can, you know, if, if we can win anywhere, it's here. And obviously Scolzi comes out with that screamer. What were like Sir Alex's tactics at the new camp, knowing the strong there then? Well, it was, you have to remember we had Vidic out. So I played centre back. Owen Argues played right back. And so it was, it was a sort of a little bit of change. But that's what I would do every now and again, you know, pop mm. in and out. Um, so it was fine, but you know, we I think that we just believed that we were good enough to to win the game and maybe win the competition. Do you know what I mean? And um, like I said, we put everything into it, and it was it was a tough you know two ninety minutes, but ultimately we we got the goal and we managed just to defend them. You know, to to not let Barca score in two games is oh. it was pretty good for that team anyway, because that's probably one of the best teams. That's um, proper football team, yeah. that wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we. Um, was like, there any like, individuals like a, picked out by Sir Alex for man mark or anything? Yeah, Alex? Messi. So I probably marked Messi a bit more. So if I went out, because it, it was my job just to stay on him. And believe me, in the first two minutes, I didn't stay on him. And he nearly ran the whole pitch and he just put it wide. And what happened then? Yeah, I just seen could the you manager, hear the manager looking at me. He didn't say anything. I could <laughs> see him staring at me. All right, I'm just going <clears> to, <throat> off topic, mm. um, do you have a few air dryers? Oh yeah, I mean yeah, I was all for nothing. Time. Yeah, but then like like we talked about before, the manager is, is good man management. Yeah, and he when he does that to me, he knows I play better. Simple as that. So every now and again, you just need one just yeah. for keeping. I get one on sometimes your when I thought I played well, and think what is he talking about? But then I would play even better because you want to like. Yeah, you want to you want to show him that you keep your toes. Yeah, yeah, keep on your toes. He was good, um, but yeah, I think probably everyone there'd be a few players that that didn't get one. Um, but other than that, everyone probably got the hair dryer. Did he ever intimidate you? No. No? No. I think you look up to him now. Yeah. You know, when, respect. Uh, yeah, definitely. If he ever asked you a question, you wouldn't lie or anything. You just tell him the truth, whether it was good or bad. He'll probably know the truth well, as well. He'll I mean, probably yeah. testing you as so well, you, isn't you it? Wouldn't be, you'd be none of that. You'd be just, um, you know, you just get straight to it because there's no point in, in lying. And... Do you reckon he had eyes all over the club? Yeah, I mean, at and the he time, knew, yeah. Uh, knew everything. Yeah, oh, he knew parts of it, but it'd be, it'd be like he knew everything. Um, so he was he was good like that. I mean, he, everyone comes from different places, don't they? So he'd take that into consideration as well. So people get a bit of leeway, just... He'll treat people... Yeah, probably, but, but everyone's different. I mean, some people had wives, some had girlfriends, some didn't, you know. So he, knows, he knew the ones that didn't, they'd be out, they have to be out. Well, it's common sense, days. actually. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Um, so we'd always keep their eyes on them ones. The ones that um, had kids and everything, they're fine. Uh, there's no problem there. So leading up to the final, mm. strange one, Moscow yeah. final, wasn't it? Yeah, strange late game. But was it like 11 o'clock at night? Yeah. How did you prefer, prefer for that then, like, leading up to it? Was it so practising it late yeah, at night? Yeah, so we trained a bit later. Um, probably only two nights before, maybe three. Um... And then you just sort of change your, your sleep pattern an hour or two. It's not, it's not, it wasn't difficult. Pre match is a bit later. Were you easy to do that? Were you an easy sleeper? Back then, yeah. Oh, sleep for fun. My mum used to say you just sleep all the time, come out from training and sleep. But I think you, you all get a little napping every now and again, yeah. Back then, would you have like a roommate or you have a room to yourself? At the beginning, yes. And then it all changed. And I think it changed, not for the fact. Because the you you know the, the your mates, um, but it changed for the fact that listen, everyone goes to bed at different times. That's so some, some, people, some people on the phone to the missus. Some people want to go to bed at half nine, ten, but some are more. Some are more like twelve. So when you look at it, it's probably right that you went you know in your own room because some people like to watch the telly for a little while or look look at your phone. I mean, it was only Snake at the time. You can have a game of Snake, but you know you'd have your DVD players. Um, it's going back in it now. DVD no, players, it's true, it? no, you did, you had your DVD players. Um, but like I said, I was more of a half 11, 12 sort of guy. You know, eight hours sleep, no problem. But some people went to bed at nine to wake up even earlier, six, and then that's their day. So it, it, it's common sense. It's just common it? sense because, it's, you know, you if someone's going to bed at nine, but you go to bed at 11, you, you want to say, no, it's fine, turn the lights off. But you... you you're not necessarily going to go sleep straight away. There's not much to do. So everyone sort of went singles after that first season. Everybody has to be happy. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, yeah. In their, in, in their own minds, the preparation is what you do. Yeah. And everybody's, like you said, everybody's different. So yeah. the main thing is keeping everybody happy. Yeah, yeah. So Chelsea in the final. Tough Had a ding-dong with them in the league already. Yeah, yeah a tough game. So it's man. been probably the two best teams... A good team now. In though. Europe and two best teams in the league, really, weren't there? Nothing yeah. could split you. And we started well. We, we should, probably should have went two up. Um, and then they got back into the game. They get that goal just before half-time. Just, well, let's rewind a bit. Did you yeah. not fly down the wing and ping one over? Yeah, a little one-two. Just... We scores here. Um, and it wasn't... People say, was that was it practice? And it wasn't practice, but we knew Essien was going to play right-back. Mm. He was the midfielder. Um, and Ronaldo's got a very good leap on him. So, do you, you know, any opportunity is just float one into the back post, and that's what happened, basically. What an header that was. Great header. That great was header. a bullet. Which got us off to a great start. Um, and then we carried that on for about another 15 minutes, to be fair. I mean, I think I think Wayne's switched the ball, and it's gone out to the left. Um, Tevez just misses it, comes out to carry it. Come, he gets it on target, hits John Terry down his chest. You know, we, we had a few good chances, especially for a final to, to go to up. Um, no, man, and, and, and killed then, the game. And then the battle one. started, if I'm being honest. It was just battle for battle. There was all battles all over the pitch. Um, then we go into extra time. It's raining, it's late, um, and you just don't want to give anything away. And it was funny, so luckily, luckily, I say, because we won. I remember there was a sub... It was about a minute to go in injury time. Then penalties. It was me for Anderson. And you know the relief? Because you're thinking, oh my God, I've saved a pen. pen. And you don't think about it when you're actually no, on the pitch. No. But I only tell people this because I always thought I was fine. Like, you know, if I had to take one, I'd take one. But the relief of actually getting sub, and honestly, the whistle blew about 30 seconds later. I was like, you sort of go, wow. This, this, this like weight drops off your shoulders. So you're a cool dude. We've worked that out today. No, Chilled but- out. But near to the end, were you thinking... At the time, you wouldn't have known, but... Where were you on the pecking order for the penalties? Or was I, would it have not... been, I would have been near the end, because I just don't... I was it not decided then? No. no so you would have, But you would have had to say it one if needed? Yeah, I don't think it probably would have got up to me how it, how it yeah. actually ended, but... Yeah, but you're glad you didn't have to. I'm yeah. sure Sir Alex was, was thinking about that as well. Yeah, not 100%. Well, well, we know an extra. It, well, we brought on Anderson, who's good at penalties. Yeah. You know, he's decent at penalties. He was a young lad, but he's a very confident lad, and... He would take penalties all the time in training as well, so that was definitely the, the right decision. Um, but then in the penalties, obviously, you like. Well, I'm going to put you on the spot here, John Terry. I thought he'd score. Was he just? I done. thought he'd score because I see we mess about sometimes when we play for England and we'll take penalties at the end. He, he normally puts it, you know, nice he's, right side footed, nice and strong in a corner. He would strike a good ball. Yeah, that's he? what I mean. Um, so I'm thinking. He's gonna score this because I've seen him do it. Just and obviously it's only in training, um, but he hits it. You know he hits it nice, and then it's a little slip. Little isn't slip. There? Yeah, the pitch comes up a bit and completely misses. And that's when everything Changed. turns. I think again. everything just, momentum. Yeah. Every, oh, it's written in the it stars. But that's where you're yeah, looking. Yeah, it, it turns again, and um, and it's funny because people always say that was the, but it was actually an Elka. You know, yeah, Edwin was. saved an Elkas. But an elk never gets brought up because they always say John Terry okay. slip. I think because he had the penalty to win it, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. An elk was with a keep unit, wasn't it? Yes, a keep team keep. And actually, right. watch Anderson's penalty last night. It weren't the best penalty, were it? Wasn't he? Just got his foot it, through it, didn't he? Yeah, just just enough, wasn't yeah, it? Just, just enough. Got his foot through it. What was it like after the celebration? Obviously, with the England lads, were you polite with them? Lampard. Yeah, of course you do. Yeah. Because yeah. you've got to have that yeah, respect. Yeah. Hang, it's got to be yeah. hard, isn't it? I mean, we've been in finals before that, and we've been beat FA cups and stuff like that. It's just normal to. No, you're devastated, but you 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 go and shake everyone's hand. It's just a football game, but um, to win it again was brilliant. It was so late though, you know. It was a small little do Were you in goofed? the hotel. Um, no, I think everyone's just knackered because obviously extra time. Drained, the everything. pitch was heavy because of the, the rain. Oh yeah, we're belting down. Yeah, yeah, it was well, it was horrible. That's what made them slip, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what would have John done the Terry pitch. Take the penalty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was the pitch was heavy, yeah. and everyone was knackered. Did you stay and over then? That? We stayed over and just left in the morning. Yeah. So what was it like? Just hotel bar party there, basically. Hotel, look, just little function on, you know, little band. So everyone had a little little dance, celebrating, nice photos, and then you pretty much got a few hours sleep and then straight back. Was the league left, or was it all wrapped up then? It was all wrapped. So you saw so Chelsea. <laughs> They're unlucky, really. They've lost the league by two points. Yeah, that's right. And lost the Champions League yeah. final. 
on a penalty. Yeah. But it does show you they actually went on to win the Champions League two years later, I think, didn't they? Yeah, Drogba, and they scored near the death. So they, they, they had a good squad, um, but I just thought it was just our time again, really. I've, you had a proper team as well, though. Oh, we had a great team. Tevez, a great he, was a, he was an animal, wasn't well, he? Well, there was the Tevez, Ronaldo, Rooney up front. Animals, got, animals, and then animals. to replace that, you had um, Louis Saha, Nani, Jason Park. These, these are not even on the pitch. Uh, Nani could scare people, couldn't he? He could do yeah. crazy things, couldn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Nani on his day, oh, unbelievable. Scored yeah. some great goals. Um, and then midfielders, you know, you got Scolzi still, still Scolzi and Giggsy there. Um, Owen Hargreaves played a bit of right back midfield. Mm. Anderson. Was was um, you know in his prime then as well, so it was. As a team, did you know that season it were Ronaldo's last, like as players? Yeah, probably. I mean, he's, he he was never in a bad sort of way. He always said he wanted to play for Real Madrid. Always wanted to play. He's done no wrong, hasn't he? He's yeah, done his time for United. He's been if a anything, great servant, hasn't he? He probably wanted to go the season before, but so that stay for one more season. Yeah, it's mutual. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that will I. Ronaldo's last game. Did you know that that season it was going to be his last? Yeah, I, th I think we did. I think it was, you know, at one point he, he probably wanted to leave that that season. Um, so there's a nice agreement just to you know stay again, and then you can you know sort of mutually go to Real Madrid for for a big fee though. Um, but yeah, I think the players knew that, and there was no problem with that at all. I mean, he's always said his love for Real Madrid as a kid and and stuff, and obviously they wanted him. Um, and Real Madrid were a good team at the time as well. So Galactico, and you can't it? really fault him because look what he did when he went there. Absolutely fine. Never played to Fergie. He must have had a lot of respect for Ferguson just for doing one more yes, year. Yes, and still has one hundred percent, and still has. Um, but he did a lot for the club. You know, he he played his heart out, and sometimes I think as players, when you're with a teammate, you can see he, he's doing his best or even better than his best, and he would he would try and do that every game. Did there was there any ever any frustration with him because I mean he I mean, was an individual. Game, I'd probably say the only frustration was uh, Ronaldo was a sort of a different sort of winger, wasn't it? Like back then we had Bex. Get the ball out of your feet, whip it in. Cole, everyone's um, and Nista were all getting onto it. But Ronaldo was obviously, he wouldn't necessarily do that. He'd cut back in and, you know, a bit like today's sort of game. Um, so the, it was different for the strikers, I would have thought. Less they're service. Making them, Less service. No, because they're no. making runs into the box, like from the thinking like Bex would just get it out. And put it on a tee, do not get me wrong. Um, but Ronaldo was different, he wouldn't necessarily do that, he'd chop back. So for strikers, it might have been a little bit different, they'd have to change the game a little bit. Um, but that was the only thing I would say. But other than that, he learned very quickly. You know, when he first came, he was doing all these tricks, he'd get past the man, stand him back up, then try and do him again. But he learned quick, he doesn't need to do that. He can, you know, he can hit him mostly where it hurts by just carrying on and going in the box. At a young age, was he the same as he was towards the end of his career, fitness-wise, body-wise? Yeah. Yeah? Was he always self-driven? Obviously, he's older. Mm. I mean, I've seen him when he come back to United, he's older, but his, his fitness is still unbelievable. You know, he's um, you can see he's still in the gym every day, doing what routines he ever does, and looked after himself, one of the best I've ever seen, to be fair. Proper professional, isn't it? Yeah, proper professional, mate. Who were like the pranksters when you're time Amazing. United? David May. Maisie, yeah. So we're expecting fireworks when we play golf. Maisie, but he is yeah. a proper golfer, isn't he? Maisie's so good. I just didn't think he would be, but I've played with Maisie a few times and I think he, he's like a three or a two. Oh, my God. So all, the, be trouble, all the best, lads. <laughs> I'll play with Maisie. You bring someone, John. He's very left-handed, though. Is he? Yeah. Right. Left-handed. Might have some old clubs for me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but Maisie's very good at golf. So Chelsea, 2010, got one back on you, like you mm. said. They actually beat you by a point in the league. Yeah. Went to the last game, didn't it? Let, listen, when when it, we've this has happened a few times. When you get beat by three or four points, you always look back at one game that you should have won. Um so yeah, there's lots of disappointment, but like I said, they were a good team. They were a good team and um that's football in a way, that's how we've seen it. I think we were very lucky to be in in a in a team where realistically we were challenging for the, the title every year. You know, it might we might have come third a few times, but normally it was first and second, especially when Sir Alex was there. Which, when I look back now, is frightening in itself. You know, it's because you go to other teams and it's just not like that. Uh, you know, I've been Sunderland, um, 
Blackburn wasn't in the Premier League when I went there, but it's it's completely different, you know. The the, the way that we were challenging for, for championships or cups every year is frightening, really, what the manager sort of did um, for the club. It just shows you the difference a manager does make yeah. because the consistency was ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, even his, his, even his last season, people were playing out of position. You know, they weren't necessarily the best in that position. Um, but he'd... You know, people were injured, but he'd move players around, and they they worked their hearts out for for the team and the manager, and that's you know they can just by doing that by working hard can can get your points. We've got our Facebook, we've got a cracking question here. Yeah. So if you're not on it, get on our Facebook. What was your favourite league title to win? Um, it's got to be my first one. It's got to be my first one. So that's a treble. Uh, you just get the treble or a start no, no, off to yeah. football. It's easy, uh, isn't it? I've got to say my first one because I think that that's the one that gives you the hunger to keep on going. And you want that, another. That, that was one of the big things, you know, even though we've won, and you can ask most of these lads, we probably didn't celebrate right or enough at the time. Because you were, But you got used to winning, you see, didn't you? Well that's the it thing was normal you to win, to, wasn't you it? You to win more and more and more. Um I mean we would come second in the league and I'll be devastated. It's, it's a bit of a different mentality, but when you're in it, it's 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 hard to explain. You just, you know, everyone's like, yeah, but you come second. You're like, yeah, but we didn't win. It's, 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 does that make sense? And normally you'd be, ah, yeah, good season. Well done. We'll see what we can do next year. But it was no next year we're going to win. But that's the standards, isn't it? Yeah, but that's the standards. No, it is different. It is different. Anything less than yeah. nobody accepts. And you need the right characters to be there to sort of, you know, that's, that's drilled in you every day. Mm -hmm. And it starts with training. You know what I mean? Well, this one, no, I'm going to say it. Don't sit on the fence. Mm. This is from David Jones from Facebook. Right, Wes, give me your best starting 11. You've got to be playing, obviously, 4 4 2. I've got to be playing. No, no, you've got to play a 4 4 2. You've got to play 4 4 Sims 2. Same as a show. Um, okay. <laughs> so the goalie's going to be out. So the goalie's a tough one. I played with Schmikes for one season, Edwin for quite a few. I'll go with Edwin. Um, I'll go Gary Neville. Have to play 4 4 2, so yep. that changes it a bit, yeah. I go Gaz, um, Rio Vida, and I will go Patrice. See that I could easily go. And and this is the thing. You don't I would have talked about nothing. If I would have played with Michael longer, I would have done that. And if I would have played with Dennis another season, because Dennis, I've never seen him have a bad game. No. To be fair, um, but obviously, a lot of my years with with the guys that I'm saying now. So Patrice. Um, left wing would be Giggsy, and midfield would be Keane, Scholes, Bex, and up front I'd have to go Rooney, Ronaldo. So I've missed out Cole, Van Nistelrooy, I've missed out... Henrik? Henrik, but that's who I would go with. I I'm mean, sure they'll pick I don't up a think, few trophies, John, I don't think you? Rooney gets enough credit for what he, what no, he does. No, he doesn't. And, and that's the honest truth, he was frightening, mate. Absolutely frightening. Probably one of the most natural... Gifted people I've seen. His record speaks for itself, yeah, it doesn't does, it? Yeah, his record does, but people always thought he, they expect him to do We well. had your ex physio Rod on, and he yeah. said when he burst on the scenes at the Euros, mm. if he didn't get that injury, he believes England would have won the Euros because he was just unstoppable. But that said. age, he was frightening, wasn't he? He was like a uh, man possessed. He was. Um, it's like people used to say to me, it's like it's like an old school player, you know, this 17 lad who comes in and he's fully grown man. Um, he's been playing like he's been playing for years, but that's the sort of attitude he had. He wasn't bothered he was, he was playing against. He just never showed one ounce of fear, did he? No, not at all. He probably played a little bit better when he was a little bit angry. Yeah, <laughs> he calmed it down a bit, but I mean, his talent was, you know, people sort of um, overlook it because he was a bit f fiery and and stuff. But his talent, mate, his assist, and I mean, he's got both records for now um, at club and. and and country at the time when he beat um, when when he won that, but ultimately, what he'd do for the team, the defending side of it. I mean, this is a guy who scores loads of goals, but he would run back ninety yards just to tackle someone. You know, he wasn't. He would always want to do his bit. So the shift and natural talent. Yeah, got everything. Yeah, great lad he was. Yeah, great lad. So thirty-one year old, one club man. Yeah. Time for a move to Sunderland or not? Were you ready or pushed? No, not at all. I mean, the gaffer for me had a year left. Um, 
And you have to remember, I've been there for eight. I've been there since a kid. You don't know any different, do you? But I know I'm not as good now. My knees are playing up a little bit. Um, and we bought Rafa and Fabio, and the twins, that the season just before. So, yeah, the gaffer ran me up and said, listen, you, a few clubs have come in for you. Um, you can stay. I know you've got a year left. You won't play as much. Um, so it's completely, completely up to you. And I was like, right, okay, I've, have a little think. But I, I still wanted to play. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I still wanted to play. But I knew I wasn't up to... It's a standard at United. And, and I, the way I explain it is, when you know you're ready and you're fit, it's, it's no problem. You're getting up to your man dead quick. Da, da, da. I know over the last couple of years, I just couldn't do it. You couldn't get there as quick. So people were turning. So my, my game had changed a little bit. Um, and the standards would always be high. And, and to be fair... With the injuries I had, I, I didn't do too bad in the sense that I probably, um, you know, normally people wouldn't, wouldn't have probably played that long with the two ACLs that I had, um, but managed to get through it. But yeah, I, I still wanted to play and Steve Bruce um, called us up and I remember speaking to Shady about it and he goes, yeah, I might, I might go as well. So I was going, okay. This is a bit. This so is, this is you and John O'Shea. Yeah, this is a bit more. So you're chatting yourselves before the move, like so. Sunderland wanted him as well. Yeah, they wanted him as well. And so then um, you and mates chatting away. So we've had we've all had a chat with with Steve Bruce, and obviously we're on holiday, and you you're thinking things over, and then we phone each other saying, "Yeah, we'll do it." But I remember getting there, so probably about five days later, I get to Sunderland. Shazy's not there. So I'm thinking, where is Shazy? But I signed that day because that's the day I was signing. So I remember phoning Shades, he wasn't picking up. I was thinking, what is he doing? Um, so anyway, the next day he's, he's turned up. And I was I was thinking, he's taking a piss. What well, you thinking? He's not signing here. He's no, not somebody signing. else has come so, in with a better So basically someone else came in. Um, Who came in? I think it was Everton. Did anyone else come in for you as well? No, no I, well, yes, they did for me. But did I, you have? I, to be fair, because I knew Steve Bruce anyway, it just made it easier and... Uh, Sunderland, the, the fans were crazy, mate. I absolutely okay. loved them, mate. Uh, so yeah, it, I had no problem going to Sunderland, and um, but then obviously Shazy turned up, and it was funny because that was a, it was a great five years, but completely different great five years to what you experienced at United. Because you experienced in the other side of it. If yeah, we've both been disrespectful. No, because you're, you're, always, you're fighting things you're this time. Fighting, you're fight, a point's fighting. more yeah. valuable, isn't it? I think the. And it, I mean, it's everyone. I'll tell you when you get. It's not that we were a dead bad team, but ultimately we didn't score a lot of goals. Um, and if you don't score a lot of goals, you don't pick up points. So we were just always on the back foot, always on the back foot. Or and luckily for me, when I was there, always got out of trouble. Just so that was just as exciting. Mm. Weirdly, it's probably more pressure in it. It's so much more pressure. I so say that with a golfing. Like I've done a bit of caddying, and the players will tell you. Have you? Yeah, I kept quiet. Right. Mm. When they're on the number for make a cut, the last few holes, that's more pressure than winning the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a very similar, pressure. isn't it? Yeah, but it's a lot more pressure because there's a lot more at stake. Um, and we, we had so many, I think it was for three years, we, we just got out of it. And it was funny, we'd get beat by all the teams that we probably shouldn't have got beat by and beat all the big boys near the end or draw or get the joy you needed. So again, that was it was a good experience. But um, What was it like playing United? First, first oh, I scored on goal. I know that's why I brought it up. We've got Bill Borney there from the Facebook. He's got an own goal. He's got an own goal. And the next time I got sent off and I shouldn't have. I'm sure it was a mistake. Maybe yeah, yeah. Day, yeah. And you're like, oh, It was John O'Shea. John right? O'Shea, yeah. Yeah, and yeah Mucker. Oh, Bowles done you in. Funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was funny. I mean, it, you, you do want to play well, though, when you go back. Yeah. And to be fair, I did. Um, I take it you got a great reception. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did, both of us, to be fair. Uh, which you're not looking for, but ultimately it's nice. Because you've you've been there for so long, yeah. uh, appreciation, isn't it? Yeah, but everything moves on. You see, and that's just the way it goes. Third season, Sunderland actually getting the League Cup final. Yeah, we did. Great little run, and it's it, you know what? It put so much pressure on us in the league that because we probably at one point had six games in hand on people above. We were in the, we were in the bottom three, and everyone's looking at oh, you got six games in hand. You'd be all right. You'd be all right. You're only five points behind the where you need to be. I'm not looking at it like that. I'm thinking I'd rather have the points if I'm being honest. But getting into that final was good for the club. Um, Great for obviously we're playing, the day we're, playing, we're playing City. We go one nil up. Um, we beat United in the semi final on penalties. But we go one nil up against City at, at Wembley. Um, 
and then they just batter us. <laughs> they just batter us. Yeah, that was when Yaya Tor, we, we scored that goal and everyone's thinking, was it a, was it a shot? Was he crossing it? Um, so, yeah, they end up winning 3-1, to be fair. But it was a great effort, great effort for the lads, especially where we was in the league. It was a, a good little run and good for the fans. So Steve Bruce went, Man on Hill coming for a short while. Yep. Didn't last long, did he? No, I mean, I was injured a little bit for that as well. Uh, but I think at the time when I was at Sunderland, I probably had seven managers <laughs> in five years. <laughs> Gus Pyatt were one, wasn't he? Gus Pyatt. He seemed a nice bloke. Very good. Gus Pyatt, um, Gus Pyatt, the way he wanted us to play was, was really good. But ultimately, we just didn't have... The players. The players to do it. So... And this one didn't, we'll be playing so well. But, you know, it's like how did everyone play today? One mistake. You're done. It's a goal. And that is basically what happened. And it doesn't mean we played bad the whole game, but for that one mistake, we got punished. And it's, everyone's like, oh, you know, it's, it's just not working out. I think like most teams, whereas when you are at the bottom, it's the top end of the pitch that's the difference. Yeah. You know what I mean? And the pressure on you guys at the back... Because you're constantly defending, yeah. and there was nothing going in up the other no, end. The pressure is huge. Yeah, I mean, we we ended up eventually getting Defoe, who was a big difference. I think we swapped him for Altidore, he, and Defoe was it. Sure. Yeah, was he ten million pounded, yeah. but could, could American was it? Yeah, Toronto, couldn't yeah. score a thing. Could couldn't it? score a thing. But Altidore was the same here, and I think it was some sort of a similar, just a sort of a straight swap. Altidore started scoring hundreds for them, and. Defoe got us out of so much trouble scoring for us, so it was a... You know, oh, was he then? Was he 33, 34 then? Yeah, so he's about he's three years younger than Always me. Always been a good goal scorer. What a finisher. Great, Great finisher. finisher, mate. So, no, when you've got a goal scorer, when you're getting them opportunities, you know, if he gets one or two, you know he's going to put one away. Yeah. And that's the difference, you see. I mean, we've never really had that before. So Blackburn come calling. Yeah. Blackburn. Are you ready for that move or...? Yeah, I just it's weird when you. I think when you you know that you you're not up to. I've, I've been. I've had more injuries now, by the way. But you know when you know you know you're not done yet. Just a bit left in the tank. On, yeah. So Coyley, I've spoken to Coyley. Said come down, have some training. Um, so I was there for a while before I signed. To be fair, didn't play many games. Um, you know, worked a little bit with the, the reserves as well. Um, that side of things with, with Damien, but. I get enjoyed it. I really did enjoy it. But it's different when you come to near the end of your career. It's a little bit different. You know, you're not playing all the time. The league was different. Tough. Championship. Great. Oh, crazy. It's relentless, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's relentless. It's yeah. Yeah. You were your background there, yeah, John. I was, I was at Blackburn then. Yeah, and it was just yeah. like, uh, I don't know, you you could go on a, a little winning spell of maybe three games. You'd pop eight, eight spaces up. Do you know it's what so I mean? Tight. But then you could lose and then you'd be like, oh my God. Um, so yeah, that first season it didn't go too well, and and they ended up going down, um, which obviously wasn't wasn't expected as well. To be fair, that's your first relegation ever, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I mean, like I didn't play, I didn't really play, but it was tough. It's 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 different to the Premier League, but ultimately it's quicker in a way. Like it's a lot of back and forth. It's cup lot. tie football, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's end to end. Yeah, football. yeah. It's not. I'm not saying it's on that cup tie. I'm not saying it's. I'm not saying it's not tactical, but it is. You know, right, we're going to keep putting it down the line. There's not much change. If that's what the manager's saying, the the fullback will get it and keep putting it down that line. Even if there's no one there, just over your head, you clear it out. You might get a throw. You're now in their pitch. Now you can do something. But it is. A, it is different to the Premier League. Like a cavalry charge, yeah. isn't it? Because you're like you attack, we attack, yeah, you attack, we much, attack, yeah. and, and the games. I mean, I think they're in that league, especially. It's an honest league. Yeah, boys are out there trying to make their way. It's tough. It's, and it's a t- it's, especially for my age as well. Yeah. I'm not used to that. It's just back, back and forth, back and, and forth. And the majority of the time, it's three games a week: it's Saturday, yeah. Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. much all season. So yeah, that was a again a different experience. So. Um, Obviously, I remember being the last game. I can't remember who it was. I should remember. It might have even been Brentford, to be fair. That beat us. And I think we needed to win um, with a, with maybe a bit of help as well. But I don't think we won the game anyway. Um, but then I left pretty much straight away. I was gone. Well, that. this is an expert. How the hell did you end up in India? Yeah, it was crazy. 
So um, my old coach, Reddy Mullenstein, came the manager of Corella Blasters and said, we want you, Paul Vichubka and Berbatov to come. And Berbatov? Play. Yeah, Berber was there with us as well. Quality of Berber. Yeah. But um, so we, we all went there and honestly, I loved every second of it. It was brilliant. What people won't know is the crowds. Yeah. Was the ground like at 80,000 capacity? Yeah, so the first game, I think it's 60,000, but the first game we had 50,000 um, people all dressed in yellow. It was mad, absolute madness. And it's, it, it was more American style, so you had a DJ in the stadium and the music's blasting. So uh, was it good fun? It was brilliant fun. I mean, we lived in a hotel. That was different. Um, you, you don't know what to expect from India. Obviously, there's some very bad parts, there's some good parts. and But we lived in a hotel and we pretty much didn't really need to leave there until we went out. We Don't get me wrong, we did a bit of the tourist bits. But ultimately, it was 18 games in the space of about four and a half months. So you're always playing a game every week. Would there be away fans then? Or was it just all Yeah, up? No, no, away fans would go, but they won't necessarily go to thousands. I actually think the Blasters have the best fans and the best away fans who would travel to different games. Um, there was some. There was a couple of teams who didn't have many fans, to be fair, because obviously the main sport's cricket, yep. you know, but I think in the south where we were, they, they were they were mental over it. But you had a good run, you said there yourself, 18 games, you played 15. I know I did, 18, yeah. So. yeah. And I played midfield in a couple. Padded. Yeah, I, did. I loved it, mate. Loved did it. you? Yeah, a few times, yeah. Just pinging it around, mate. Just pinging it, a few post goals is here and there. Uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. And the weather was, was good as well. It's, it's, it's crazy what can be good when the weather's better. You like the sun, don't you? You like it warm, don't you? Yeah, yeah. That, oh, do you think that obviously helped though? Because it, it is humid there, isn't it? Really humid. humid. Like, too hot, but yeah. the weather definitely helps. It's going to help the body, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't need so much WD-40. No, no, no. So let's go on to England. Played yeah. under a few managers. Yeah. John, what did you want to say earlier on? Capello. Capello, yeah. How did you go on with him? He was all, he, the fellow was good. Yeah? Yeah, he was all right. I mean, you have to remember, I was probably in the squad... Most squads for about 12 years. Mm -hmm. Only went to one World Cup. But the players that we had were unbelievable. Um, I mean, my position, if we're talking early on, you're still talking Martin Keown, Southgate, um, Sol Campbell. Um, Rio. He was a player. Rio. Right? Then you go in. JT, Ledley King, Jamie Carragher, Jonathan Woodgate. You know, these, these all along, these hang, players... Yeah. Does best that of the best, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're Just right, all sort is. of in the same sort of position. Yeah. Um, if anything, Gaz, Gaz was mainly right back. I know there was Danny Mills played in one. There was myself there every now and again at right back. Um, and then eventually, obviously, Ashley Cole took that left back position pretty mm. much as well for himself. But centre back is is when I started playing for England was at centre back because that's what was playing for United. It was crazy, absolutely crazy. There were so many good players. Do you remember your debut? I do, yeah. Do you know you Hungary, were playing Hungary, leading Hungary, up to it, though? Did I? Do you know the team leading up to it? Like, a few days before, you know you were going to play? No. No? no. Day before, I think it was. So you got to know the day before? Keegan, Kevin Keegan. Day before, away, um, and we won 1-0. I think we did. Happy is. It's easy Happy then is. again, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it was good. I was nervous. Were you, were yeah, you? I was nervous. Yeah, it's England, isn't it? Yeah, it's different. It's a difference. And and it's weird because I played probably every age group from under fifteens up, but now you're with the first team. So um, it was a time when they started every now and again the twenty ones would train with the first team. I know they do. I don't know if they still do it, but they used to, you know, interact a little bit. So you would just get used to it. Maybe if you got called up on a on a day here and there, um, but it was great just just being in the squad. And, and mainly that was because I had a few games for Man United, um, but it was it was great to to play in that game. So, when I go back to United, you were there a long time. Were you due, did you have a testimonial? No. Or you due one? No. We pro probably due one, yeah. But no, I didn't have one, no. On the pipeline? Why? No. Would it be in the pipeline? No. No. No? No, that, it's not for. Would the club ask you or are you going to ask a club? I would never ask the club, no. Okay. No. I just thought so. You don't hear about that no more. Like 10 years at a club playing. No, you don't. I mean, it's changed a little bit now, um, I suppose. But you don't get many players. At a club for that no, long anymore. Know. That that's probably why it's not as you know common mm -hmm. nowadays. So going to finish again back on the Facebook page. 
Yeah. Darren Hadley, best player ever played with. It's hard, um, this, isn't it? Yeah, best player ever played with. Very tough. See, my favourite player is Giggsy. But I'm not going to say that's the best player, but I would always say Giggsy. My, my, my best player is probably Scalzi or Rooney. Barry Clark, who's the toughest opponent? But I could answer that in different ways. I could go Zinedine Zidane, because he was. And that's not because he, he was... He had everything all again, didn't he? Because I couldn't get near him. It's beyond me. Like, I never got a touch of the ball. Mm. Um, but then I could go Duncan Ferguson, you know, so... Physically. Yeah. So he's, he's, he's different... And they're com two completely different players, by the way. But there's different, you know, ways you can put it. But he's a though, he was good, wasn't he? And R9, definitely R9, when we played him, it, he was probably injured as well. He scored an hat it, got clapped off he by was R5. Player, wasn't he? Yeah. He was I remember that. Do you know what? He showed the respect. Though. He never celebrated, did he? No. That's good. Fair Didn't play, didn't it? it? And then when he got brought off, probably limping, <laughs> all our fans stood up and clapped, to be fair. And I sort of remember, even though... Because we actually won that game, but we didn't get through. And I remember in my head going, bloody hell, I just got a Nazi coach. <laughs> but everyone clapped, you know yeah. what I mean? But uh, from, unbelievable, unbelievable. Anything to add, John? 2010. Yeah. World Cup coming up South Africa. Mm -hmm. Capello names you in a squad for a friendly against Hungary. Yeah. And you retired the following yeah, day. Yeah, and, and Robbo got there before me. <laughs> Paul Robinson, so I was driving up. So I, the, the thing is, I've been in so many squads. I'm not as good as I used to be. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that little bit of time off, I just thought it would maybe prolong my, my playing career a little bit, which it did in that sense, if I want to look back now and look at it. But I remember driving up saying, I'm the sort of person I would probably like to tell you in person, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Rather than just phone or text or whatever. So I remember... I remember driving up, ready to tell him. As I'm driving off, someone pops up on the news that Paul Robinson's just retired because he got named as well. And I was going, oh, my God. But Capella, was, he was top, man. I mean, he didn't, he didn't want me to. He said, come on, don't be silly, da, da, da. But I just said, no, I, I think it's better if someone else has a chance because I've been in loads of squads, boss, loads. Um, he might as well just been one of the young lads in, whoever, whoever that may be. Um, you know, it's... My knees are not the best and getting a bit older now. I'm like 31, 32 yeah. now. Any regrets though? Because you sacrificed a World Cup. Not at all, no. Because like I said, I think I prolonged my playing career in that sense. Right. Because I've I'd re i got really bad knees still. <laughs> I mean, you asked me to walk down a hill, I'd be like, I walk up it. We get a taxi down. Right. Um. So, yeah. Big decision though. I mean, it, it, it was. But you have to remember, we, I know what you're saying, but... I've been in these. I've been in a lot of squads, except for the main tournament, and then would never really go to a, a, a major tournament because you had to cut the. Well, everyone would be fit, wouldn't they? Mm -hmm. um, for twelve years. So from yeah. eighteen, from ninety eight till, till eleven, you know it's a long time, and I just thought it was the right time. You know, I was a little bit older. Everything was a bit sore, um, and ultimately, I've not. It's not like I've been involved a lot in the major in, in the major tournament, so it wasn't a problem for me. It was like, no, it was not ready, hard yeah. feelings, you but I was yourself. ready. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was ready. And training was so hard at, when you went international. <laughs> Honestly, it was so hard. But what would happen is at your club, you would get a few days off of no training. So I always thought that helped. Maybe it might have just been a mental thing. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I had no problem with that. That was fine. Do you know you've scored a goal for every club you've played for? I did. I was waiting for that. I was about to tell what you What a that. stat that is, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Lucky yeah. on a few, but yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, when you look at it, five for Man not United. A lot. Five for Man United, one for Sunderland, yeah. one for Blackburn, and one for Carrara Blasters. And one for, and one for England. England. Yeah, I'll tell you that. Yeah. And all with my head. It's a good start, that, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, that's like, uh, uh, alone is an achievement, isn't it? No, I was happy with that. Do you know what? I'm not bothered about scoring mm. one bit, but do you know, as you keep moving clubs, you're like, right, I need one. Keep the record up. I need one. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that, that was good to, to get a go. I, it, it always made me laugh because I always remember when we go up for corners, even though I'm very aggressive and in defensive corner, I'd like, you know, if it's there, I'm winning it. So yeah. I think, but I always had defending on, on getting back, right? If it's not in my way, I just, I'd get straight back. You know, I would only think about defending. It was just part of me. So, but yeah, I didn't, didn't score a lot, but. It's a good start. That was. It's, it's a not, good start. It's, it's, it's okay. It's better Talk me through the England goal then. 
Oh, it's simple. Normal one, Beckham corner. Front, run, front post, just nodded it in. Yeah. And I scored. My first goal for United was actually against Beckham corner as well, against Juventus. Um, Champions League, that was group stages. You had a good understanding with Bex, man, then. Yeah. Put it in there, Bex. But yeah, yeah Bex. Bex would put it anywhere. Yeah. If you if he seen, yeah, he was honestly, lads. I've never seen anyone pass the ball better than him. I don't think we ever will. No, it is quality. You, you see it every now and again. Um, people sort of with a similar technique, but he would put it, he'd put it there where you are, regardless whether it was sort of a whip or a ping. So, but he worked at his game, didn't he? Did, he yeah. worked. Yeah, yeah. Relentless. Well, you have to think he. If you look how we used to play, everyone put a, a shift in, mm-hmm. regardless. Um, and he would be no different. But like you said, and he could run all day as well, by the way. But you said before, you know, half a yard was all he took. He didn't need to beat yeah, the man. No, he didn't. Half a yard, but he, he didn't. That, was, that it, wasn't he? his game, was it? No. It wasn't his game at all. I mean, he, he wasn't tricks. No, no. You know, as a, as a winger, he wasn't tricks. Oh, he, he wasn't was all a step up. No, no, it wasn't all he fancy. Just, half he would a yard. do a trick just to get it where he needed to, yeah. to, to get it in. Um, and I know the strikers loved it, to be yeah. fair. As soon as you know what's coming in when he's got the half yard, yeah. you can time your runs yeah, then, can't you? Easy. When it's, like you said before, when it's Ronaldo, chop, chop, well, chop, cut back. It's you're in, you're out, you're yeah, in, you're out. And yeah, it's, it's, it's different tough. for it. It's different for a striker. And I can, mm. and I can understand him getting, a, not upset, but he does like, get it in. Yeah. But the game, you know, it was a different sort of game. The game was changing again. All done for you now, mate. Yeah. All done. Ready for your rapid 15. Okay. What's a rapid 15? Right, Wes. Well, that is fun. We are on to mm. the rapid seven. Okay. Oh, no, Sorry. No, that was a weekend. Sorry, okay. and, uh, I've got seven in the head. For Not some reason, now you was. For no, some no, reason, no, no. Seven. Yeah. Right. Pretty straightforward. Yeah. Rapid fire fifteen. Rory Mac or, or Tiger Woods? Always Ginger Woods. Yeah. <laughs> so you call yourself? Yeah. <laughs> Today I can. The Open or the Masters? Masters. Jaeger or Sambuca? Go have one. Do I have to have one? Yeah. I'll pass up them two. <laughs> Got Jager. to rush you. Jager. Live or PGA golf? PGA. United or England? United. Favourite golfing holiday destination? Portugal. Oh, are you going to say, are you going to tell me something? No. <laughs> Portugal. Right. Favourite golf course played? Monty Ray. Best golfing footballer? I have to say David May. hate saying that. <laughs> Best stadium played in? Um, apart from Old Trafford, I will go New Camp or Camp New. Okay. Ronaldo or Messi? Ronaldo. Lynx or Parkland golf? Lynx. Favourite car? Porsche. Hole in one? Never. Wembley or Old Trafford? Old Trafford. Ryder Cup with the Open. 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 That concludes the 15, Wes. Thank you. There you go. Wes, you've been a star. Thank you very much, young man.